Hello everyone and welcome to this Adobe Spark resource. Looking at your two assignments for Nurse 1323, the Sexual Health Skills course. Um, you'll notice I've made two separate videos on this Spark page and one of them is looking at the essay and the other one is looking at the eight step reflective learning analysis assignment. Okay, so tap into both those videos, have a look at those and you'll see exactly how to do them. Over the years since since running this course, right back as far as 2004, I don't know how many people have done it. It's something like two and a half thousand to three thousand. And obviously that means a lot of assignments. And I can tell you the majority of people have really enjoyed them and thrived on them. And that's because rather than setting assignment titles that you have to choose and work to, this is over to you. It's um, um, entirely up to you what you want to write on. And you do that in relation with me as the module leader so we can discuss what you want to do so I can point you in the direction to do it the best way possible to make sure you're fulfilling the required um, guidelines. Okay, so please check out the rest of this resource and especially those two videos. And if you're still not too sure about things like critical analysis or how to mind map to generate ideas and what synthesis means, that means drawing it all together, just look at the link that I've put on here um, for another Adobe Spark page, which is looking at um, the sexual health dissertations. Because I've made a little video on there that's really good in explaining how you just mind map, how you can explore these ideas. So if you come around to a topic in your mind and you think, oh, I want to write something on teenage pregnancy or chlamydia, then when you bounce those ideas off me, I'll get you to explore them, um, like I do in the little video on that Adobe Spark page, okay? So you can explore them in all different ways. So rather than just coming out with a topic like teenage pregnancy, like how many people have written on that? You know, what, what new can you say on that particular topic? So what I encourage you to do is to explore it in relevance to yourselves. So say, for example, if you're um, maybe a school nurse and you say, well, I work in a school where we've still got high incidence of unplanned and teenage conceptions, higher than the national average. Well, that's great. So you may want to design your um, essay around the role of the school nurse in helping to reduce unplanned and teenage conceptions in a high prevalence area. So in that case, that assignment now is not so much about the topic of teenage pregnancy, but it's about the role of the school nurse in helping to reduce it in a particular setting. Okay, so come out with as many ideas as you want. If you have a look at that little mind map video on the um, on the other Spark page, it'll show you how to generate so many ideas. And then from those ideas, you may hone in on some and think, ah, this is what I want to focus in on. Okay, so that's what we can do then when you want to focus in on some ideas and make it completely relevant to you. And then with the eight step reflective learning assignment, you'll notice throughout the Spark page, I keep on referring to it as the eight step. Okay, so it's a model in its own right. So you must follow that eight step model. Sometimes I've had students who will start off the assignment by saying, oh, the model of reflection I use is by somebody called whoever it is, and they use a four, four step model or uh, um, uh, a, a cycle in four steps. Well, if you're only doing four and we, re we require you to do eight, straight away you've only done 50% of what we're asking. So it really is playing us at our own game in many ways, in looking at what we're asking for you and making sure you do every single bit of that. And not just doing what we ask you to do, but when you check yourself against the grading criteria, look at the ways that you can do it to the best of your abilities, okay? And that way I can promise you, you're going to enjoy doing these assignments and you're going to get so much benefit from doing them. Okay, have fun with the rest of this page and I look forward to um, uh, chatting to you in the next two videos. Thanks for listening.